So a little bit of a longer video today, but what I want to look at is how do we add a new device to our list of available devices to build. Um, probably, if you're interested in doing this, you're going to at some point build something that hasn't been built before, uh, at least not for that particular ROM. Um, so of course, you know, we just got done building the um, DSLTE TMO for uh, pack ROM. So let's see how we can add something else. Uh, if we go into our vendor files, of course, we looked at some of this before, but we see our vendor setup shell. Um, and in this, we have a whole bunch of add lunch combos. And these lunch combos are, of course, the choices that we get on the list of what we want to build. And of course, we just built the JF LTE TMO, the Samsung Galaxy S4, and there it is right in the list. So what if we want to build for the Galaxy Note Edge, right? The uh, um, TB LTE XX, what does it say? The international version of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. I built several ROMs for, uh, for that phone. So let's take a look at how we can add that to this ROM. So if we go to our repo folder and uh, we go to our local manifest, bring that up, in G editor, any text editor really. I'm gonna make this a little bigger here so we can work with it. What we see is a whole bunch of projects that we're adding to our repositories when we do repo sync. And of course, uh, here we have like the JFLTE TMO, we have the path that it goes to, the remote place that you can find it, and the revision or branch that it came from. And all of this material is, is right here for uh, repo sync to download. Notice at the bottom we have that proprietary vendor, Samsung. Instead of having to go like to the Muppets and download it, we can just um, put that into our room service. So if we open our default manifest, which is linked to this manifest uh, link here, we see all the different remotes that are available. And one of those remotes is GitHub in this particular case. If you don't have this in your manifest, you can always add it if you need to. But by allowing us to choose the remote of GitHub, we could download anything off of GitHub that we wanted. So we'll jump over to the web here. We're, we're going over to my repositories on GitHub. And as you can see, if we type tblte, we have tons of uh, options, and we're going to choose that TBLTE XX, the international version of the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. Really neat phone if you've never uh, seen it. It was kind of the original Edge phone. I've built for Pack ROM before, so we're going to choose that branch. And notice here now we have our um, repository. Name here at the top, we have Alaska Lynx user, forward slash device Samsung TBLTE XX. And it looks very similar, of course, to the project name that we have here for the JFLTE TMO. So let's just copy that line. And we're going to add it to the bottom here and edit it to be what we need for the, um, the Note Edge. So the big thing you want to do when you're doing something like this, make sure that you keep the syntax proper. And of course, it's not for the JFLTE TMO, but it's for the TBLTE XX. And then at the beginning, we don't have that Android portion. Our just starts with device. But if we just put that and put remote of GitHub, it wouldn't actually find it because we need to add this Alaska Linux user forward slash portion to tell it it's in Alaska Linux users repository. Change our remote to GitHub. And our revision was, oh yeah, I guess we should fix the path too. And Revision was patch dash mm, I think. Yeah, 
underscore mm. There we go. All right. So now we've added this project to our repo sync. If we save this file and bring up our terminal again, <clears throat> let's see, there's our stuff here. Well, I, I guess I can show you here. We're going to add this to the Samsung device tree here. Notice that there's no TBLTE uh, XX in there right now. And when we bring up our uh, terminal here and we do a performer repo sync, it's going to go through and check to make sure it has the latest version of all of the 520-some-odd uh, projects, 526 in this case projects that are used for building Pac-Ron Marshmallow. And this is going to take a few minutes because my internet is probably not as fast as yours, but um, shouldn't take too long because we've already downloaded all this material before. We're just making sure that it's current and up to date. I don't think that's something I really talked about yet in this video series, but uh, just be aware that anytime you can run repo sync to download the latest version of all of the folders that you need. So let's take a look at what's going to be inside the, um, the folders while we're waiting. So we're trying to build pack ROM. And uh, you can see here that I've got this uh, several files, but this particularly this pack.make file. And this uh, file is what it's specifically looking for to build um, a pack ROM. So a tree with this has to have that in there. And then the release name, product release name, tells it what this is trying to build for pack ROM. So for instance, slim ROMs will have one that says slim.make. And this is referenced in that vendor setup.shell where it says add lunch combo JFLTE TMO dash user debug. It's looking for a pack file that has this code name of JFLTE TMO in it. Uh, user debug is just the variant that it's going to build of that um, code name phone. Uh, real quick, we're getting to the end of our repo sync. Oh, and there we can see it here. We have Alaska Lynx user device, Samsung TB LTE XX. It's downloading right now. So it actually, just by adding that to our local manifest, we've, we've added that project to be downloaded, that repository is being downloaded to be available on our local computer, which is great. Um, let's see here. All right, so syncing the work tree. Um, Remember that all of these files are downloaded in that hidden repo folder. And then by syncing the work tree is when it actually puts it into the folders you can see so you can actually use it. So that's going to take just a second here for the computer to crunch a few numbers. But we'll, uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. So this pack.make file is looking for the code name for the JFLTE TMO. Um, and, oh, there we go. So we can see, sure enough, our, our file showed up. But we'll get to that in a minute. So let's see here. Move this out of the way. Okay. So we've got our pack, pack.make file. It looks for that code name for JFLTE TMO. And then it says, I want you to build uh, this phone. And it does that by going to this full JFLTE TMO.make file. So this make file is setting a few properties and overrides. And then it's saying, go to that make file. So we open that make file. And it says, hey, I'm going to set a few um, product names, brands, stuff like that. And then I want you to build uh, 
or start two different threads, one for this full base telephony and one for this device.make file. And so then we open the device.make file and we see, hey, I want you to build uh, all this stuff and then go to jf-common.make file. So each one of these is, is adding a few things to the list and telling it which file to go to next. So we go to jfcommon.make and we look at that. Uh, now remember, we're only chasing down one thread. The other thread went a different direction with the base telephony.make file. So here we are, it's saying, hey, I want you to build this nfc.make file. I want you to do all of these options and add all of these uh, configurations and put in these packages for the infrared and for the um, Wi-Fi and for the um, you know thermal stuff. And then it's like, oh, and then when you're done with that, go to the QCOM common and build that make file. So it's just a string of adding what you need, adding configurations, adding packages, and going to the next make file and building the next chunk. Um, so, so I just want you to see how all these old files work together. Now also in this JFLC TMO, there's this pack dependency file, which tells it, hey, if you're building pack ROM, here's the dependencies for this. this object that you're trying to build is dependent upon something else. And if you're going to build this object, you're going to need JF common. So if you're going to build JF LTE TMO, you're going to need JF dash common. And so that way, when it calls for that common script, it knows it already has it because it has this pack dependency file that told it to go and get it. So <clears throat> That's how those tie together. That's how that works. So now we look at our TBLTE XX file. And what do we see? We have a pack.make file. Uh, this is handy because I've already made this before. If you're working with a new device, you might have to make one yourself. But it's saying, hey, here's the product name, pack TBLTE XX. And product device, TBLTE XX. And then it says, hey, build NFC enhanced, build common full phone, and build full TBLTE XX. So it's starting three different threads just from right here in this one make file. Um, and it's already got all the right um, product device and product name um, listed there. And so, of course, you know, you can see the full TBLTE XX. Uh, you could chase down to build the NFC and the full common phone and all of those things. but just be aware that this is what we need to get started to build for the TBLTEXX. And here's the files linking to the next file to get what you need to do what you need to do. Uh, notice also I have a slim.make file in there. I probably should take that out in the branch for pack, but uh, I, I built this for several phones. So you could look here at this vendor's file for the TBLTEXX, and it adds its very own lunch combo. Now, you can see it says AOKP, so obviously I've, I've built this for several of them, and uh, I probably should change that to pack and update my repository. But so, um, when it comes to these vendor setup files, you can actually put one in the device tree that you have, so it's just gonna add one just for that one, or you can add it for instance, this vendor setup.shell um, master file that you have for instance for pack. I recommend doing it in your local device tree because you control that. When you do repo sync, you're going to overwrite the one that is the, the master vendor setup from downloading the pack on one. Let's take a look here. Um, <clears throat> now, there's actually going to be several other things we're going to need. Like, for instance, if we try to build this right now, it's, it's not actually going to work um, at all. And we see that because look at the JFLT ETMO. It has tons of things in there. And we only downloaded one thing for TBLT EXX. So if we set up our build environment and we uh, run our pack script. Oh, well, here, yeah, you can see right here that my TBLTE XX vendor setup was red. So that's good, good sign. 
Let's see, where's my... There we go. So if I build uh, dash pack dot shell, and I can say I want to build the TBLTE XX and a variant of user debug, and it stops and it fails, just like we talked about. Why did it fail? Well, let me scroll through here. So it failed because it doesn't have the next thing that it needs. Um, if we try to breakfast that, um, or you try to lunch it to see if you can get it to download the um, the you know pack dependencies if it has pack dependency file, but it's it's still failing because it's going to look in the SS repository, which is the default for this particular ROM, and it's not going to be able to find tblte dash common because that's what it needs next is the dash common. Um, how do we know that? Because we just looked at the uh, script the make files and we can trace through there and say, hey, it needs the tblte dash common file, just like the jflte tmo needed the js dash common file, or correction, repository, not file. Uh, and if we go to my repositories, you can see that I have one on there as well for that. So we're gonna have to make sure that we download that one also. Now notice I don't have a pack, uh, pack ROM marshmallow branch of this. That's because it turns out to be the same as the AOKP or Lineage OS or the CyanogenMod Mod one that actually didn't change at all um, between them. So I can just change that here, the AOKP underscore marshmallow for that branch. Let's see, we've got set up here, tblte-common. All right, and so now we can repo sync again uh, and download just that one. Now, typically when you're doing this, you're gonna, you're gonna pre-look at everything and make sure that you see, hey, do I have all the right dependencies? Do I have all the things that I need to build by looking through either the, the dot dependency file or looking through the make files to see if it lists moving to something else to build with. And so that's really important uh, for you as a developer to make sure that you're on top of when you're trying to build for a new device. Whether it's a new device completely or a new device for this particular ROM, uh, either way, that's that's going to be your responsibility if you're trying to add it to um, the working list that you have here. So of course we got to wait for it to finish doing the repo sync. Should be fairly fast because it's already downloaded all of this material. It's just going to check to make sure it has the latest version of each one. <clears throat> um, let's see if there's anything we can look at while we're waiting. Um, now for sure, adding this one, uh, the build is going to successfully start, most likely, but it is not going to finish because we are kind of missing something really important, like the kernel uh, for this particular phone. So um, just want you to be aware that you really have to look through all the files to make sure you're getting all the stuff you need. And so here we see that it's downloading that device Samsung tblte-common. Now we see the build getting ready to start. We also have not loaded any of the vendor files. So even if it did build, it wouldn't work uh, just the way that we have it here. But I just want us to see this process. How are we adding something new? How are we getting it to start building? How do we make sure we get all the right files, folders, repositories in the right place? to add them to our build that we're using. 
All right, so our project is um, finished thinking. Now it's going through the pruning and the thinking, the work tree. Hopefully this will only take another second here. A little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to keep it all together for, uh, for this process. Um, when we go through uh, Nugget, we're going to do this again, um, but we're actually going to make sure that it, it builds when we go through there, um, at least in my tentative plan. I have some interesting ones in the Nugget build because of the errors that we will see and, and a few things that we'll work on while we're there. So, let's see, syncing our work tree, 95%. 100%, there we go. So now, try to build that again. Let's see if it takes off this time. Goes through, reads the vendor setup files, looks for uh, dependency only mode on a non existing device tree, which is good. It just means that it's, it's looking at what's available for the device that I'm trying to build. And poof, there we go. Pack TBLTEXX starting to build. 